The house of Trump fly royal Icarus wings made of feathers and wax. Of course, today we're talking about Greek mythology. Icarus and his father attempted to escape Crete. Have I mentioned how human nature never ever changes? There was greed and stupidity and fear 2,000 years ago, and there will be greed and fear and ignor ignorance 2,000 years from now in the future. But today again, we talk about Greek mythology. Icarus's father constructed a set of wings made of feathers and wax. And the father warned Icarus. He warned him of complacency and hubris. He told his son, do not fly too low or do not fly too high. Because the sea, if you fly too low, the sea's dampness would clog your wings. And on the flip side, if you flew too high, the sun would melt them. Again, Icarus and his father attempted to flee Crete so many thousands of years ago, as the Greek mythology tells us. And today, Donald Trump attempts to escape the D.C. swamp. And Donald Trump is flying high in the sky. And he looks like a god to the QAnon fanatics on the ground. They look up there and they see Donald Trump flying. And they really are impressed. They think that Donald Trump is a god. The house of Trump. And as Trump peers down on us mortals, he even feels like a god. You see, history keeps on repeating itself. Greek mythology. So as the story goes, Icarus ignored his father's warnings, and he flew too close to the sun, and the wax melted. Icarus fell from the sky and drowned in the sea. You see, this is the same story that Henry Kissinger told to a 36-year-old slumlord a few years back. But that slumlord failed to relay the message to the royal court of Trump. Now, I'm no big fan of Kissinger. Matter of fact, what I see is the changing of the guard. You see Bush Sr. passing on. And every day we see one of this older generation passing on. But did they leave us any wisdom? Kissinger tried to leave some wisdom to a young 36-year-old slumlord. But that's their thing. Henry Kissinger is not going to come to you and I and share his wisdom. No, they only share that wisdom with their own people. So I make a video about the House of Trump. Donald Trump is turning the White House into the royal Trump House. He only wants to be surrounded by family, bloodline. Donald Trump is kicking out the generals. Donald Trump is pushing away anybody who's not in the bloodline. I guess we, we used to have nepotism laws in America, but I don't know. Maybe we're not in America anymore. A breaking story coming out of the royal Trump house. The house of Trump is spreading its wings. And the question I have is this. Is it safe to fly so close to the sun when your wing feathers are held together by wax? Mad Dog Mattis resigns from the Royal Trump House in protest. The generals Kelly and Mattis were there as supervising handlers over a non-sophisticated deep state appointee called Donald Trump. 
The military security complex made sure that Trump would win over the criminal, greedy, corrupt witch in charge of the global slush fund called the Clinton Foundation, where Asians got richer and Americans got poorer. The military intelligence agency analyzed this trend of turning Americans like myself into homeless bums as a national security emergency. And they put Trump in a position of power. And Trump played along with the generals until he got his sea legs. And now Trump has the confidence to form a royal crest in the White House. It is clear now that Donald Trump wants to be surrounded by a court of royal bloodline. I am showing you the letters. Steady as she goes. Those were the words of Mad Dog Mattis to the DOD on the government shutdown. And here is the letter of resignation to the President of the United States. Or should I say, the Royal Trump House. Mad Dog Mattis is resigning, many say, in protest. I will let you read the words for yourself. But how ironic that this nepotistic, royal bloodline fantasy that Trump is building in the Trump House will be his very undoing. What will the Trumpettes and the Q-freaks and the Bible-thumping neocons think when they find out that Trump is turning the White House, the American White House, into the royal Trump House, surrounded by nepotism, a sweatshop princess daughter, and a son-in-law slumlord who couldn't take being pushed around by the generals, so the generals had to go. Of course, the real backstory here is that Mattis, Mad Dog Mattis, eats, sleeps, and dreams, Iran, Iran, Iran. He wakes up at night in a cold sweat yelling, Down with Persia! Down with Persia! Down with Persia! And General Kelly is now gone. General Flynn is a wild card in the Mueller investigation. Does anyone see the rope tightening here? Because if the Q-freaks and the Bible thumpers... If they don't see the rope tightening, well, they might just trip on it. But that's okay. Just get yourself back up and dust yourself off, because that is the American way.